My name is Nora Samosir. Uh, I teach in the faculty. I, I teach in the program, uh, the Theatre Studies program. I have been, um, I have taught speech and drama to like four-year-olds, five-year-olds. I have taught in a primary school long ago in my youth. I have taught in secondary schools. I have taught in junior college. I have taught at the National Institute of Education. I am now teaching here at NUS. So I have a very wide uh, range of uh, work that I've done. I'm also, throughout these years, all this teaching, I also have a parallel career as an actor. Um, I mainly do stage work, theater acting. I have also done TV work, but not as much as not as much in recent years. Um, I, to be honest, I don't enjoy TV or camera work as much as I enjoy live theater because there's, there's a lot, of, lot more satisfaction for a performer when you have an audience that you can sense and you know and they're responding to you and you respond back to them. Uh, whereas uh, when you do camera work, it's, it's, it's quite cold, I feel. Uh, and and then it's also very tiring because there's a lot of waiting around when you're filming. So I've not done I. I think the last time I did I did a the last time I was on camera was uh, I did a TV travel show that was kind of fun though because I like traveling as well. Okay then uh, the reason why the title of my my talk is family uh, is because the last production of um, that the theatre studies students, uh, the graduating class, the third year students did, was entitled Family. So I'm going to show you some background. My, I'm going to talk over what I will show you. And there are slides from our production of Family. Family is a play written by Liao Pui Tin, who is a Malaysian playwright. And in our production of Family, it was, um, we perform, the students performed in a house rather than in a theater space, not rather than in a designated theater. So it's the, a promenade performance as well. When we say promenade, we mean that the audience moves around. They don't just stay still, they move around as the performances room move from room to room. Yeah? So then, I've got a concerned parent here, so I think we have to address this question. Uh, why theatre studies? You know? And of course, as I said before, it, this is theatre studies is, at NUS is not training to become actors. It's not training to become performers, not training to make theatre uh, as a profession. It is still an academic study. Yeah? But what do we offer that English language cannot offer? What do we offer that geography cannot offer? What do we offer uh, that engineering? And I, we have engineers that come and do our, mod, our elective modules. Well, like I said before, you know, everybody has to do a module outside of their specialty. You said you did uh, languages, German, French, whereas I've also had ma mathematics students, engineering students, architecture students who do theaters, one theatre studies module. So what do we have, what do we do that the other uh, disciplines don't? Well, I think, this is an interesting thing. Instead of just talking about ideas, and I, we're talking about human ideas, I, I don't mean inventions, yeah, and I don't mean uh, objects that you can make. Yeah. There is a physical aspect to engineering. There's a physical aspect to, uh, to chemistry. There's a physical aspect to architecture, to medicine. Yeah. They actually make things or do things. When we say enactment, it's enactment of ideas. In philosophy, they think a lot. They talk a lot. <laughs> they don't act on what they think or can, uh, talk about. We do. All right? It's the same thing with, with English literature. There's a lot of reading. There are a lot of ideas. Yeah? But they don't necessarily enact those ideas. We do. And I think this is also a very important aspect that people don't really think about when they come to university, perhaps. But that in theater studies, 
we do put a premium on empathy. There's a lot of oh, emphasis on putting yourself in the shoes of the people that you read about or ideas that you think about. How does that affect you and how does it affect people around you? Yeah, it's one aspect that perhaps is less in focus, but it's very much so in theater studies. There is also a lot of emphasis on um, com working together. And you can't do a production, for example, without working with other people. Even solo artists have directors, stage managers, lighting designers, sound engineers, etc., etc. All right. In performance, no one is truly solo. Of course. I mean, we, we won't go into artists, like there are, there's such a thing as performance art. And those artists who are not theater actors or theater makers, they work on their own. But artists have a different agenda when they perform. Yeah? How many of you have heard of performance art? Yep, you have? Yeah? And performance art is, art is, is not theater. We don't study it in theater, really. Okay? So then, as I said, enactment. So in uh, theater studies, all right, in making theater, which is part of theater studies, you use your hands. This is a picture of, perhaps I change it quickly. Yeah. Of uh, one of our student actors in, he has, has an interesting background as well in secondary school and in junior college, I think. Do come in if you'd like. Uh, his CCA was dance and then when he came to university after the first year after taking one of our modules he decided to be a I think he was thinking of being a literature major and then he decided to be a theater studies major so you can see that you can see that in, in the body and the and, and in the expression on his face yeah uh, he is a, quite a seasoned performer uh, expression of course in the theater and your entire body, yeah, is part of the enactment of those ideas that uh, you read about. So, cognitive learning, using your brain, using your mind, using your analytical skills is still part and parcel of theater studies. There's a lot of cognitive learning and for some people a big, a huge curve because you have to be truly critical, yeah? Not just, oh, I feel like, oh, I, it looks like, oh, it seems to be, it appears. You have to be truly critical and see what evidence there is to come to any to the kind of conclusions that you come to when you look at performance, yeah? So a lot of cognitive learning but there's also a lot of kinesthetic learning. Kinesthetic means in the body. Yeah? That, what I said earlier about enactment, but there is a balance of that. Right? And what I said earlier, that collaboration over competition, that sense of empathy. It's very important. We try to, um, which is why we have Although we are not uh, a drama school, and therefore putting on plays is not the main raison d'etre. It's not what we are here for. We're not here to, to train students to put on plays. But because we find that kinesthetic learning is very important, that enactment is very important, you have these ideas, you need to see that it actually can uh, work, uh, what your ideas you have, that we have a play production at the end of third year. Students can go on to do an honors year, four years, but the play production is at the end of third year because you can graduate and not do honors year. You can graduate with a bachelor degree after three years. And we do a play production also so that students really concretize, embody, enact what we mean by collaboration and empathy. Because that is a huge uh, 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 commitment five students for four months of their lives that they work with a group of, of, uh, of, of people to, towards a particular production. And, um, and in that work, they have, to learn to, they have to really learn to collaborate. They are creative, but they also have to learn 
to collaborate with each other. And also, and then at the end, we are proud to say that in theatre studies, we have a cohort, right, which is not just individuals. Because of the modular system, people, there, is, there isn't necessarily a sense that you are one cohort because people take whatever modules they want and different combinations each semester. Rare, rarely is the case where two people in the same major have exactly the same modules in one semester. Am I right? You have that in your experience? So there's a kind of dissipation of a cohort. The cohort is only in name in the sense that everybody started in this year, graduated in four years later, but they, but they don't necessarily have a sense of a cohort. But for theatre studies, because we have play production, that one module where everybody who is a theatre major has to do, and it only is and only offered at the end of third year, that's when you have a, a sense of an alumni. We are theatre studies majors. We have a, a camaraderie, all right, a collegiality. Yeah, that's we really find that is important. So then. Uh, here's, I mentioned that the production was in a house instead of uh, a theatre. So the house is the inside of the house. They transformed it uh, into acting spaces designed by one of, you'll see a, a picture of her later. Um, they put up those paper flowers as part of the design of the space. Where you see the curtain, that was a little cubby hole. So the, the curtain falls and then uh, audiences can just sneak inside. It's like a little secret cubby, uh, you know, child's secret um, uh, tent area, which is the idea of a family. Yeah, if you know the play, you get a sense of that. But we created a space under the staircase um, for that. So what you see decorating the walls here were not part of the, act, the house originally. It's part of the performance and. The actors, the, the, our students, did all the work themselves. They, they uh, well, not all, all the performance work. They acted, they, uh, they also choreographed and, and, and danced, uh, did a lot of movement, they did some singing as well, and uh, actors uh, uh, make the elements of the sets. Those paper flowers were all handmade by all, there were, there were 12 of them this year. All right, and they're just taking a break. Uh, in they're having ice cream. Yeah, <laughs> they just finished. Uh, I think they are having a lunch break. Okay, this is our. She was um, this, our student designer. She designed the set. She decided how it should look, and then the rest of the company helped her in making. We didn't have any outside help in making these things. Uh, she cut that um, dragon up. She got photographs from all members of the cast. Uh, because this the theme of the play is family and 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 memory, so um, so you see photographs there, making the body of the dragon, uh, that were contributed by uh, all the cast members, all twelve of them, and it's a dragon because the family in the play is the young family, so I think dragon rather than chicken, for example, yeah. Um, this is part of a rehearsal. Uh, this rehearsal is in our theatre space, which is, uh, where are we now? Over there, LT13. Um, it's a lecture theatre. It uh, we have first rights over it. Uh, it has a stage. The, these students are on stage. Um, you can see that the floor of the stage is, is the black um, uh, rubber, which is part of the usual kind of flooring that you have in theatre spaces. Um, in this part of the play, the, gran the grandmother, which is played by a male actor in this instance, um, is carrying her grandson on his back, on her back, piggyback. So it's called a piggyback scene, um, because the grandson is paralyzed. He was uh, he had an, when when he was a baby, there was an accident. He was paralyzed. So and the grandson is played by a female actor. So we, we, we play we play with these ideas, you know, what is the idea of gender, what are the idea of family roles. You think about what are family roles and then you enact them. How is it how is it how is it to be female? How is it to be male? What is it to be a child? What is it to be a mother? And so on and so on. Even if you yourself are not 
a woman, even if you yourself are not a, a mother, if you yourself are not a man, for example. So we play with these ideas. Uh, so in rehearsal, they did that. But as it evolved, in the final performance, this is how the scene go, looks. This is in the space. This is in a, a shot that's taken during performance. And instead of carrying her piggyback, the grandmother wraps this around this uh, piece of jute around her as they have their conversation. So it's, a, it's, a, it's, it's not a realistic scene. So it started being realistic in, re in rehearsals. And eventually, as the ideas evolved, it has became more uh, symbolic. And so in the final performance, it looks like that. And that's really part of how we work in the theater studies, you know. You look at, you with not just ideas that are realistic or, or grounded in, in the conventional way. We help students we look, to look at things from different perspectives, yeah. It, take things inside out, outside in, outside down. And not always look at uh, uh, take look at something in one way that you're used to. We challenge the way our students look at ideas and look at the world. So this is um, this is the um, poster, which was also designed by the designer, the girl that was up on the ladder. Uh, interestingly enough, this is an interesting that particular student. Um, if we go back, she is, yeah, her name is uh, Laura. She was actually, uh, she already had a diploma in design from the Singapore Polytechnic and decided that she wanted to get a degree. And then, uh, not quite sure exactly what, when she first came in and then decided that theatre studies is the place for her. She herself is not a, a strong performer and she doesn't really think, she doesn't think of herself as a performer. Uh, and she thinks of herself as a designer, but she is very much interested in the theatre and how it's made. And so from Polly, she came to NUS Theatre Studies. And she designed this poster. Yeah, and, and you can see the tagline, has the world ever been kind to women without men? So we were exploring these ideas, and of course the ideas about family. Yeah, uh, this was the opening of the show, that's the house that it was performed at. You can see some actors were upstairs, in the upstairs windows, throwing confetti down. Uh, and one actor, there's a, you see a young man in a black uh, shirt in the middle of the doorway there. Uh, this part, this opening sequence is a song. It's called, uh, and it's, the song was written, the lyrics were written into the play but every time the play has been produced, and we are not the first to produce this play, uh, actors have to come up with their own melody. And they came up with, the, and the students together, the, the cast of 12, came up with a melody that, uh, and the strongest singer of the 12 of them is that gen young man in the middle there, and so he sang it. And the others were dancing around that. And the actors are looking, the, the audience members are looking across the street because there are also performers across the street singing and dancing. It's a very narrow street. If you know this, this is not far from Rex Cinema, Niven Road. It's a tiny street, so you can easily cross. And the, the, we had to hold traffic. But I think the the the, the five perform six performances that we did, uh, there wasn't really much of a problem crossing the road or audiences spilled, audience members spilling into the the road. Yeah. Um, interesting. Okay, because on my slide here, it's wider than what it sees over there. Um, just as a point of information, can you see the woman here with the black dress? Can you see her looking up yeah, with a China doll haircut? That's Janice Cole. And Janice Cole is the nominated MP. And she was our, one of our first, she is one of our first cohort. She's a theater studies graduate. From national uh, from NUS, and her yeah she was the first cohort, the first time that we had uh, graduates from our program, and now she's a nominated MP. Yay! We're very proud of her actually, and she's also a, uh, an actress. Uh, she's done a lot of TV work, stage work. And I've worked with her myself. Uh, wonderful girl. Yeah. Uh, here is some of the cast, audience members with the cast interacting with the cast in the middle of the uh, performance. Uh, and literally, literally in the in the in the play, the uh, actors are uh, the characters 
are asking the audience, if you have three bachelor degree, put three fingers up. Because it's like, if you have a PhD, put one finger up. If you have a master's degree, put two fingers up. If you have a bachelor degree, three fingers up. You can see all the uh, US students with their three fingers up. And the gentleman uh, with the spectacles, and you see him somewhere on the, on the left there, who's looking a little tentative, is one of our uh, uh, faculty members, actually. He teaches, uh, he's also theater studies as well as literature. Uh, looking not sure, do I put with one finger, two or three? Uh, oh, I'm going backwards, am I? Oh, yes, yes, yes. It is not theater studies, but making theater. Yeah? One of the, what we, just uh, a sense, a repeat of what I said before. Um, there's theater studies, and then there's also making theater in theater studies. Um, awareness of body in space and relation to other bodies. So there's a practical element. Uh, there's creativity. And last but not least, self-reflection. All right, self-reflection is also part of what we uh, we encourage the students to do at the end of their practical performances. Um, and uh, so, in in some of the modules, you are required to write a journal of your own development. Yeah, especially the modules that have practical or physical uh, skills elements involved. All right, as I said before, this was a space under, behind the white curtain in the previous photograph, uh, part of the, the play exploring childhood. So then, um, if you're wondering, okay, so now I'm going to go to university because then I will prepare myself for my work life, yeah? And how does theater studies play there? As I said before, let me say it the third time, we are not training performers. It is still an academic study. You can, after this, go on with your bachelor degree, with your honors degree, on the same par as mathematics graduates. Same par, yeah, as computer science graduates. It is a degree, all right? But, as I said before, for yourself, to prepare yourself for it, what theater studies prepares you for the world is that it, you're not just dealing with ideas. You are dealing with working with other people. You're dealing with making your ideas uh, embody your, those ideas, yeah? So, if you, are, you just in, if you are on Facebook, there is a Facebook uh, page of the uh, Faculty of Arts and Social Science, the FASS, and if you scroll down ding, 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 uh, to 26th of March 2012, there was a posting by um, a, um, a very important person for our program because he, he started the program at NUS uh, 21 years ago, um, Dr. K.K. Seat, whom you may have heard of, right? And Dr. K.K. Seat wrote this last year, 2012, uh, this time last year, because I was a producer for this year's production of Family. Last year's third year play production was called The Velveteen Rabbit, and it was produced by Dr. C. We usually bring in a professional director to direct our students, but one faculty member, this year was myself, last year was Dr. C, will produce it. Yeah, produce it, it means look at all the logistics of putting it on, the, where the money comes from, what the, the timing, the space, etc., etc., organizing the students. So what did KK, Dr. Seat say? Will you be jobless? Uh, it's a quite a long posting, but I'm just taking some excerpts from his posting. So he wrote this last year. When I recently produced a 20th anniversary play for theater studies, I attempted to get in touch with as many members of our alumni as possible. My little survey yielded results that didn't surprise me, didn't surprise me. Our theater studies graduates are indeed engaged in a wide spectrum of jobs, befitting the comprehensive training, and we're proud of this, comprehensive training we have given them. We have, this is a whole list, this is just a list of what the students that he, he, he the alumni that he got in touch with. We have a pilot SIA, an assistant professor at Brown University, that's um, a development of officer with the United Nations office in the Sudan, an arts MMP, as I mentioned, Janice Koh, a headhunter in Hong Kong, 
an art auctioneer in Los Angeles, a songwriter in Taipei, a travel photographer, a pastor, yes, a Christian pastor, a professional golfer, a senior curriculum specialist at the Ministry of Education headquarters. The list goes on from corporate communications to advertising, television to P public relations, entrepreneurship to events management, private banking to the civil service. Theatre studies graduates are literally everywhere. This was the end of the performance of Family. Uh, the student, the, the cast members run, they've been performing inside, up, they performed in front of the house to start with, and you remember the, the confetti in, the, in the, the front of the house, then inside, upstairs, downstairs, different rooms in the house, and then at the very end, they ran through the kitchen and out to the alleyway, this is the back alleyway, uh, we put some uh, vinyl mirrors there, quite literal I would say, but it was a good strong effect in that alleyway because at the end of the performance, we reflect on our lives, yeah? And for our theatre studies students, for these students, uh, they think about what they will do in the future. A number of them are staying on to do their honours year, but at least two of them have decided that, they, that this is it for them, their university, they graduate and they go on. Uh, one has said, clear, both of them clearly said they want to look something in, in performance, uh, but that's not always the case, as I said. All right, thank you very much for listening.